Gemini 7 was launched on December 4th, 1965. Gemini 6 was launched on December 15th, 1965. On December 15th, both spacecraft rendezvoused and continued to stay within each other for a number of hours. It was the first time two spacecraft had rendezvoused in space. A pictorial record of one of the proudest achievements in American history. Aboard the carrier Wasp, Command Pilot Wallace Schirra and Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Stafford prepare to go ashore for more medical debriefings, but not before taking a last look at their now famous Gemini 6. As the Gemini 6 twins set off for Cape Kennedy, the crew of the Gemini 7 are nearing the end of their record-breaking flight. The Wasp says farewell to one pair of astronauts and hello to another. Both Gemini landings were phenomenal, within 10 to 15 miles of the target area. As a matter of fact, there was little about the combined operation that wasn't letter perfect. The man requested to be picked out of the spacecraft by copter. And first on deck is Colonel Frank Borman. His blonde beard, a two-week growth, hardly showing. In direct contrast is the unshaven appearance of Navy Captain James Lovell. To the amazement of all, the men show little stiffness and have complete control of their equilibrium. Lovell and Borman come back to Earth with about every record in the book. The longest manned flight in both time and distance. The first rendezvous in space the most man-hours, and so on. Between Gemini 6 and 7, there were 11 new space records set. You can be sure, however, that the men give little thought to their achievements right now. All they want is a shower and a shave. After all, how would you like to live in a phone booth for two weeks? And their historic spacecraft is not much bigger. The Fabulous Four take the cake and Captain Lovell does the honors at this impromptu celebration. The doctors will leave them little time for social doings. There are important medical checks to be made, guidelines for the men who will make the Apollo flight to the moon, a trip that these heroes have brought so much nearer to reality. Before they follow their fellow astronauts to Cape Kennedy and Houston, Lovell and Borman have an affectionate farewell for the incredible Gemini 7, a spacecraft that surely must be headed for the Smithsonian Institute. When Gemini 6 and Gemini 7 met far out in space, they changed the course of man's future and brought back remarkable movies to prove it. These are the pictures made from Gemini 7 as Gemini 6 arrives for their date. Remarkable in their clarity, these scenes are made by a fixed camera mounted at one of the windows, and occasionally Gemini 6 will drop from the picture. Here in the great void of silence and weightlessness, we are speeding along at 17,500 miles an hour. But both our minds are...